Hey guys, um, this is a Frostwire 5.23 tutorial, how to download, install, and use Frostwire 5.23. Um, so to get started, you want to open up your browser and go to frostwire.com. Um, yeah, just type frostwire.com up into your address bar, or you can Google it, I guess. But if you Google it, make sure you actually go to frostwire.com and not frostwire2 or frostwire10. I think those are the other options that came up for me when I googled it. Um, so when this page opens, you want to just click on download now and it'll bring you to this and this will start downloading and it should just right here say Frostwire 5.23. Um, it won't give you any viruses, I've done this, I don't know, probably 10 times. Um, so it will start downloading and you just want to get press keep and this will begin to download. Uh, the other thing I want to show you guys is while that's downloading is mp3skull.com. So you can just type that into your address bar, mp3skull.com, no spaces. Um, this is a really good website just for getting like one song or two songs maybe, but Frostfire 5, uh, the new interface and just the way that it's set up now is a little more complicated than this and it's kind of hard to get one or two songs uh, easily. So um, for this website, you just want to come up here and you can search like any song. Uh, it has the top 20 songs like right here on the home page, but if you're looking for a certain song, you can just come up here and search for it. So let's search for Gold Dust by. Let's just search Gold Dust. Uh, yes. Gold Dust. DJ Fresh is the song I'm looking for. So most songs will be either be 4, 5, 6, or 7 megs. That's right. Uh, 3 minutes, yeah. That's right. Um, I mean, you can play it if you want to make sure it's the right song, but I know it is, so I'm just going to press download. And this will open up a new tab. The song will begin to play in a few seconds. So you can just hear it there if you want. And then you can, you want to right click and go save as. And you're saving this song as whatever. So right here you can name it, and right here you can navigate to where you want to save this song. So I don't really want to save it, but yeah, you get what I'm talking about. So Frostwire is ready to go, and so you just want to hit next, agree. Uh, this you want to remember this Frostwire 5, C, program files. Uh, yeah, just remember this. You can change it if you want if you know what you're doing, but I would just recommend leaving it at this. So next, and this will begin to download. I'm going to show you guys how to import the songs that you get from MP3 Skull into iTunes because that's probably what you guys are using. So you go file. Here, I'll give you guys a few seconds to let iTunes load, because iTunes is slow. So you want to go File, um, Add. If it's a file, which and for most of you guys it probably will be, uh, that which is just one song. Of or uh, yeah, a file is just one song. Uh, this is yeah. So this is the music I've gotten from there. And no, I didn't get a whole bunch of these songs, but yeah, you yeah. Um, that's just the one song. So, yeah, here's the music you can download. You can input one song at a time. If you want to do the whole file, then you just go file or add file to library, and then you just go open. And there are not you want to, you'd go add folder to library, and just go you'd find the folder that you want to do, and just hit select. And then it'll begin to import. There should be a little box with a little loading bar telling you how close it is. And this is still not done. And it's taking a second. Um, yeah. So I guess another site that you guys can use to get music. Actually, you know what? I'll do a different tutorial on that. I'll just do Frostwire and MP3 Skull on this one. So I'll just give this like 10 more seconds to load. So 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Done. Now it's just loading Java. Uh, anyways, it's taking a second, so I will just. All right, so that's done, and now it is just decompressing. This could take a second, but probably not. So it's done. I want to run Frostwire. I've got a new icon on my desktop. Just want to go finish, and this will start to run. Minimize that. So now it opens. It looks a little bit different than all the other Frostwires. Um, 
Frostfire 4, I don't know, it's, it looks different. If you know, if you've used the other Frostfire, you know what I'm talking about. Um, first of all, one big thing is you don't want to search, when you're searching for music, which is probably what most of you guys will be searching for, you don't want to search for one song anymore. MP3 Skull is really good for just getting one song, and I highly recommend just using that. This is good for getting more than one song. Um, so, I don't know, let's see. Say I want to get all of Kid Cudi's music, so I just searched an artist. And it's best if you search artists. You can search albums. You can search songs, but it's just best to search an artist. So, and then you want to use uh, you want to apply filters to find like the album that you want to get. So say I want the entire Mr. Taking a second, Mr. Rager, Man on the Moon album. And um, you want to make sure 145 megs. That's about right. You want to make sure that the type is Frostwire, because I think these will work, but I would just wouldn't try it. I would just stick to these, and most of the time you'll be able to find them. So, uh, once you have the right one that you want to download, you click this little plus button right there next to the song, and this will come up, and it will begin to download. Uh, if you only want, like, a few songs, then you just unselect all the songs, and then select the ones that you do want. If you want all of them, then you just would just click... Uh, download selected files only and yeah there you go and they will begin to download I don't want any of this music so I'm just gonna exit that exit that um, alright the libraries a little different um, the songs that you download will come in here into your audio library as you probably assume these are all the songs I've downloaded um, yeah I have a lot of music that I've downloaded from here or just from Frostfire, it carries over, and I think it imports your music library too. If you're downloading videos, it'll be in your videos file and or folder and so on. Um, you can just input songs into iTunes just by coming over here and selecting them and just dragging them into iTunes. Um, the songs, their names will be this, or that's like their file name. So that's like the name that the computer knows. When you actually put them into iTunes, they will just be. They, they will actually have their name and they won't they won't just look like this you don't have to go through and rename all your songs uh, that's it for today if you have any questions leave me a comment or send me an email at hacksyouhard at gmail.com thanks guys don't forget to subscribe